Siege need a forgive or kick option for team killing? Hey, what's up guys? Irish Turtle here, and in today's video, I want to address exactly that topic. Do we need a forgive or kick option for team killers? Now, this basically comes about because I've seen a lot of threads on Facebook and Reddit where players complain about being kicked out of a game for accidentally team killing twice in, it, twice in a row in a game. And, you know, people sort of say, you know, this isn't fair, it was an accident when I killed them, or it was a teammate that ran into it, it was their fault, but I still suffered for it. And, you know, this sort of complaint goes around a lot. People seem to think that when they're kicked, it's not fair, it's not their fault. And I think a forgive or kick option would, in some regards, actually help deal with this. Now, I kind of just want to explain the system that I would have in mind for this. Basically, what would happen is, if you team killed, your first instance of team killing... The player you've killed has the forgive or kick option. If they hit forgive, nothing happens to you, you're fine. If they hit kick, you have one point against you, basically one strike against you that game. If you then team kill again, um, the next player that comes along, uh, you know, they can forgive you again and you don't have that one strike from the previous team kill. Or they could choose to kick you and then you have two strikes against you. If you have two strikes, you kicked out of the game. It's, it's a simple system but it gives you a little bit more leeway for if you accidentally team kill. And I think this would be a really interesting system to add into Siege, because how many of us have actually had a moment where, you know, you're about to shoot a camera and somebody runs across as you pull the trigger, or you're about to shoot a drone over a teammate and they stand up, and you accidentally kill them? It happens on a regular basis more than you'd actually think. And it basically, it is possible to actually actually get kicked out on a complete accident basis. I mean, other examples of team kills that aren't deliberate, things like a fuse charge. You've placed a fuse charge on a secure objective, you pull the trigger on it to have it all shoot into the room, and a teammate jumps into the room. It's not your fault, it was their fault, and they're aware it's their fault, but you've got a point against you. And I just think the forgive or kick option would improve the odds of these sorts of things not ruining games as often. I mean, it, it doesn't happen a lot, but I think the game would benefit from it. Another bonus would be Ubisoft could track players that have had the punish button, uh, or sorry, the kick button, pushed more often than the forgive button. If you've had, like, say, 10 punish, I keep saying punish, 10 kick options voted for you in, say, like a week, they could mark you as a team killer, and then, you know, they give you the seven day ban, whatever, whatever day ban it is, and it's then it's because it's your fault. You've been team killing deliberately. But if you've had, say, 10 team kills that are punished and 5 team kills that are forgiven, they might look at you and go, okay, well, it doesn't happen regularly. It's kind of like 50 50 on if it's deliberate. And, you know, we don't view him as an actual deliberate team killer. I just think as a whole, this system would work. You mean, you could add in, like I said, the extra layers. If you get 10 punish options, you're kicked out. And the bonus with that would be, is that if they come into another game and they're at nine kicks and they kill one player, that player could choose to like um, kick them out and they'd hit 10 and just get immediately kicked out. So then it would only be affecting one round instead of like two rounds with their team killing. And this, this is a system that, you know, it would work. Um, now, I can see a lot of you guys probably sat there typing things like, this doesn't work, the community's too trollish, everybody would just hit kick, nobody would ever forgive. And you know what? I can kind of understand where you're coming from, but I have to say, as a whole, the Siege community, at least that I've seen and that I've played with, in a majority, is quite mature. We have a very diverse community here at Siege, uh, playing Siege, playing with people, and it's a good community. I, I have to say there are more good people than there are bad. And I genuinely think that people would actually take this system into genuine account. They genuinely consider if someone was deliberate or accidental in their team kill. And I, it's just a good system as a whole, I think, to balance. And then, you know, it gives you this pool of players. And yes, you know, there are going to be the trolls who always hit the kick button. But you know what? I guarantee they'd be outweighed by the people that forgive. And even in games where I've had people who are complete trolls and they just talk in chat and voice and just say absolute random bollocks, as a whole, they're still good teammates. And they're still, you know, considering things, making call-outs. They're just acting like idiots because it's what they like to do. But as a whole, I still think they would, in general, like, consider it. I don't think people would just kick out of spite. I think it would be a system that would be considered. People would think about it a bit more. And it, like I say, it gives you more leeway. And you could even apply this system to the hostage game modes. You could have a case where if somebody kills the hostage, 
the entire team of four players that obviously didn't team kill have the option to forgive or kick. If a majority of three to one choose to kick, that player gets one strike. If three against one choose to um, choose to obviously you know forgive, that player doesn't get a strike. And if it's a split between you know forgive and kick, you'd have to obviously I think you can either forgive or kick based on like systems in the game. If they've previously team killed a lot, it maybe it would count against them. If it's their first offense or it's one of a very few, they wouldn't get a kick vote against them. I just think as a whole, that as a system would work and it would stop the needless case of losing a teammate to accidents because it it does happen. I, I, I'm shocked by how often it has happened and how often I've seen it happen, but it does happen. And, you know, this is a, this is a, a good system. It's been tried in other games. Games like Battlefield 2142. This is a game I played the other day. And there is a forgive or kick option, or a forgive or punish bot option actually, which is where I'm getting the word from, when you get killed. So if a team a player kills you in Battlefield 2142, it says uh, pay, like press page up to forgive or page down to punish. If you punish that player, they are then killed um, because you know they team killed and then they have to respawn after a slightly delayed time. And you know they get the message that that's what they've done. And if they team you team kill you again, again you have the option to forgive, but the option then instead of um, punish is kick, because you know they've been team killing a lot and they basically they get out, kicked out of the game because they're affecting you. And as a whole, it's a system that works in Battlefield, and I think it would work in Siege. Maybe not the punish option. I think if you died and you had an option just to kill the person that killed you, I imagine people would just do that out of spite. But if you had the option just to kick, I think people would consider it. They'd look at it and say, you know, oh, okay, I, I walked into that. Or, oh, okay, he was aiming at a dude and I walked in front of him. Or he dragged it across me by accident. And you could actually deal with this in a, in a mature way. And I think, as I said, the Siege community is mature enough that we would take this seriously. That people wouldn't just do it out of spite. But I think that's just my opinion on the, on the matter. I've kind of procrastinated a little bit here because I'm kind of just free-forming it um, on my opinions on it. But those are my opinions. It's 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 That's how I think it should be handled. I think we do well with a system like Forgive or Kick. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think we should have a Forgive or Kick option? Or do you think we're fine without one? Obviously, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, also, I'm thinking about making this into a bit of a series where I'm going to talk about a topic every Sunday. So if you have a topic that you'd like me to discuss, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to come to it during the week and I'll pick the topic that I like the most and I'll just talk about that for a video. So feel free to leave any kind of topics you want me to talk about in the description below. Obviously, subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege content and I'll see you in the next one.